Hey there guys, so I thought I would show you a little bit of a concept I've been working on. Just recorded a whole tutorial on how to do this thing. Oh, and then I <laughs> realized uh, I didn't have the right version of Fraps, I had like the trial version for whatever reason running instead. So I got like the first 30 seconds and then it pooped out. So we're going to try this again. So uh, I don't want to make the exact same structure, but I think I have to just to make it, you know, seem a bit... I don't know, I think I'll do the exact same thing, so I think I'll do a different little house, or same house, but like a different angle, I guess. So the idea is you're going to want to have a three block gap in the middle, well, why? It wasn't around me. Okay, um, you're going to go up two with the, uh, this is nether brick fence, um, if you want to get this texture pack, it's my custom edit of some things together. Basically, if you want to get it, uh, I'll put a media fire link to the texture pack in here. So this is what you're gonna do. You go like this. Wait, no, you don't. No, you don't. I just did that wrong. You're gonna want to get the, uh, you know, normal things in like this. Then you're gonna be going with this here. And what this will do is it'll make it almost look like the uh, center part is sinking in to make it look a bit more, uh, I guess, not very um, sturdy. Anyway, this is supposed to be like one of the more basic ones, so we're going to want it nice and squat. So it's only going to go up two, but then the uh, roof or whatever, because that's kind of pointed, it'll actually create a lot more area on the inside than it would seem. In other words, you go into the hut and it's a lot more open, I guess, than what you'd initially think. Anyway, so you're going to go up like this now. And this is uh, jungle wood and then standard wood. Uh, the mossy, crappy, weird stuff there. Mainly the reason I was working with this is because I wanted to find a reason to use it. And I like how it, um, like a big inspiration for this are uh, Warcraft 3 Murloc huts. Uh, I think there was a, not a mod, but I think there was like a custom map that allowed you to play as them, where you had to, uh, I think their equivalent of like the farms was uh, the Murloc hut, and then there was the big one, which was the chief's hut, and that was the one that you could spawn on night stalkers in, or, no, that wasn't that one, that was the, I don't know, but I remember the cool part about them was you could only build on water, was the, uh, Thing with them, like you couldn't build on land, you had to build in the water. I think this was a mod, though. I'm, I mean, I know it wasn't a default race, but I think it was a mod, not a custom map. Actually, no, no, I mean, I think it was a map for it where you played as them, almost like a campaign style thing. Anyway, though, so once you have that done, there you go, there's your little Murloc hut. Well, it's not a Murloc hut, but you know what I mean. Anyway, go inside. Grab some wooden steps, and you're going to want to go in like this. Now what this will do is it'll create a lot more of like a sleek look to the top part. Then you're going to want to go ahead and put a fence there, and your glowstone. The whole concept of these guys, I think, or whoever would live here, would be that they'd have a glowstone because, I don't know, it's purple, the swamp biomes with this pack are purple. It somehow makes sense, I'm not really sure. Anyway, and then for this thing, you'd go like this. You want three thick, so that way you can make the legs look good without making it uh, stick. And the reason I'm not using like logs or something, I'm only using these little fences, is because I want it to look more like ramshackle and rickety, and like it could, you know, break out. Because this is supposed to be a, uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be a, um, some sort of like subhuman village or something, but yeah. Anyway, uh, I did this on the other one. I'm not really sure if I'm going to be keeping it like this. But I did this, I did that, and then I did that. Not really sure if I'm liking that. I mean, it adds more support. It looks a bit better when you're up here. It, like, makes more sense, too. But, like, I mean, when you're, like, far away and you look at it, I think it looks a bit better. But, like, you know, when you're up close, it looks a bit awkward, so I'm not really sure. Anyway, to uh, finish things up, I'm going to go ahead and throw down a door. 
throw down a little uh, bed with whoever lives here. Maybe he has a chest and one of these. Probably wouldn't have a book case. Maybe he sees this. And the cool part is this actually is differentiable from like the wall. Uh, and then like that. Because that actually is like a different wood than that. Oh, uh, one thing I've actually was thinking of doing. I haven't checked this out yet, but I was thinking maybe for like the innermost planks we could I could do them like this, possibly. I don't know, it adds I think a bit more depth in here. Or maybe up here. Like, you know, for like decoration or whatever, maybe up here. And then keep this like the dark wood. Not really sure. Hmm. That looks nice, I guess. I don't know, it adds some more uh, variety. So anyway, um, that's what I have so far. Thanks for watching, guys. And um, I'm going to try to take other buildings like blacksmiths, shops, um, I guess like some sort of like religious shaman hut or something. I'm going to try to put that all into these uh, raised swamp huts. So thanks for watching.